Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and oops. And if you recall that area where I had to become invincible and glide through some fire, well, we're on the other side of it. We have to jump around this corner to all these frogs. And what do you know? Waiting for me up here. was what I suspect is the Glide to the Tower egg. Happy birthday, Ted! Nice glasses. Very distinguished. 81 eggs?! There's gonna be so many diapers. I do not envy uh, the Dragons of Artisans. Hell, they're gonna have to spread them out through all the hub worlds. That's probably why they have dragons all over the damn place anyway. That's why the dragons needed five worlds for themselves. I wasn't glide to the tower. On the bridge, I guess. All right, keep your secrets then. I do like the screamy, like, cat heads. All right. Well, that wasn't it. Right, there are frogs swimming around down here. That very much confused me for a moment there. Where the hell was that button he stepped on? All right, Hunter, you can stay in the box for a bit longer. I want to try the race level. Ah, uh, here we go. Honey Speedway. I'm sorry? Huh. Okay. You know, I'm going to go with Time Attack. Okay. Honeycombs, beehives, bees... Boats. Alright, that's clever. I like that. I mean, they're just the rings, but I like that a lot. They're not blowing up behind me. I wonder how you know which ones you've already been through, other than the fact that they're all in a row, obviously. Hey, did he say the line this time? Uh... It's not the, fa the fastest way, but it is the easiest. Burn! Not so fa- Aww. Almost too deep for it to do the splash animation. That's funny. I do not understand why the speedways consist of flying around murdering everyone, but you know. I'm really glad I went, you know, right instead of left there. No! Ah, damn it! I didn't actually mean to do that. I wanted to... 
I wanted to stop flying, turn around in midair, and start flying again. It has worked in the past. You turn a hell of a lot faster when you're falling than when you're flying. Why do the outsides of these things look like they're made of wicker? I mean, beehives aren't exactly smooth, but they're not, like, woven. Also, there's no actual leaves on these trees, planks of wood, and that's weird. Wood doesn't grow on trees, it is trees. For the record, City Speedway was also set at night in the second game. Don't touch the honey! Fuck! Oh, that made me feel better. I guess. Come on, come on! Not bad! Hey, that felt good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Chris, it's good to have you on Team Dragon. Oh, I don't want to race the bumblebees. I couldn't even beat the stupid planes. I'm sitting here wondering to myself how Spyro knows what he's saying so precisely. Well, because he grew up with him, I guess. But yes, uh... It's an insect accent would make it difficult to speak, them not actually having vocal cords and all. <laughs> Insect accent. I like those hills in the background that look like giant striped eggs. I don't have a clever comment or anything, they're just visually pleasing. Oh god. I mean, I do kind of like the, the, the slap bass that's going on here. Okay, that doesn't normally happen when I press B, so I must have assumed... I will assume I did not notice a missile I picked up at some point. Why are the bees different colors? I don't like that. Butterflies are all the same, and they're fucking butterflies. No! I was aiming for between them, for the record. Well, I'm not in last. Now come on! Fuck you! If you're just gonna be like that about it... I went through the ring. Oh, I'm sorry, Sparks. I'm just grump. I don't like those ones. Well, now we've been there, at least. And at least Chris is safe. Uh, I should go back, but... Hmm. God, why did that have to be eggs? 
That could have been something I could easily leave there, but no, it had to be the one that will actually make me feel bad for not getting all of. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, I already have break the tower wall. Hey, big guy, I don't suppose you've seen, uh, a cheetah in a box around? I guess a cheetah is like me, but hairier and with no horns? I don't know, maybe he's never seen one. He's a fucking whale. Well, what have we here? Oh, right, yes. What is that on the ceiling, anyway? It's all scratched and weirdly shapen. Just a random chunk of stone. But it's got uh, smooth edges, like it was supposed to be that bizarre shape. Wait! No, that's a level. Don't go in there. Frozen altars. Ah, what the hell. I do not feel like finishing off the session today with more racing. Maybe next time I'll go after those damn planes. Show those fuckers who's boss. Welcome to Frozen Altars, Spyro. On behalf of the Ice Fairies, Ooh. I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. Wow! That's kind of awesome! Although I just want to say, I don't know if you put the portal there, but it is kind of a dick move to put a portal to a frozen realm underwater. So I don't care how good that portal is, Spyro is still at least damp when he came out. <laughs> And he's cold-blooded, man. It's probably dangerous. <laughs> Ooh. Uh... Oh! Gabrielle! Shit, I don't feel any different. Oh! Oh, it's Ice Breath now! Gnarly! So I breathe cold like I'm Bizarro. That reference might not land. Uh, Bizarro is a faulty clone of Superman. Some depictions have him with all of Superman's powers, but reversed. Oh, no, no, no! See, that's right, Superman does actually breathe out cold, doesn't he? It's, uh, oh. We got the alt tab, dang. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, I was remembering it backwards. Uh, Bizarro has cold uh, vision and flame breath. Bird. Are you an so enemy or not? Yeah. sold us a laser defense system to protect us from Rhinox. But with these flippers, I can't even turn it on. You'd have no trouble using it, though. Just walk inside. When you're done, press the action button, and you'll walk back out. Oh, okay. Thanks, Alex. Nice, uh... Wait. Why are you wearing, like, a, a nice jacket? He's not exactly a penguin, which would make sense because it's not a tuxedo. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, I incinerated him! Is that a, even a bad guy? I guess it probably is. That makes me feel bad. Let's just blow up this wall and get done with it. Um, I don't know what money bags told you. That is not a laser. That's some kind of crazy reflection dish. It's a... 
Magnified sunlight. That's the full light spectrum. A laser is actually a very small portion of the light spectrum. Which means, in its own odd little way, that the... Wait. Oh. I wonder what happens if I blast that. Which means, in its own... Uh... Wait. No, 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 I saw that wall wrong. God damn it, what was I going to say? Now I distracted myself. Nothing. I just draw a giant dick in the snow. He's holding a fucking ember. What the hell is wrong with you? I mean, how are you even doing that? Why are you dressed like that, here? Oh, oh shit, I didn't know we could do that! Oh no, I sub-zeroed him. Oh. Or at least that's one step. Would I get my flippers on that rotten beer? Is this third game just gonna end with the money bags dying? <laughs> Are they just going to lynch this man for all of the ripoffs he has been performing? I didn't get the scam artist impression that I got in this one. I mean, I guess it does kind of fit the vaguely Aztec temple theme, but. Laughing now, bitch. Huh. That's weird. Oh, I see. Hello. Goodbye. You know, Zoe was one of the people from Avalar in the second game. The first game just used a succession of generic fairies to save your progress. Oh, what's this again? Eustace and I were having a snowman building competition when the sorceress brought them to life with a spell. Since then, they've been stomping around building ice walls and generally causing trouble. Why do they all have slow, breathy voices down in this register? I don't understand. They all sound like non-gravelly, solid snake. War is cheap. No, I oh, got shit. <clears throat> I used to be able to do a really good, solid snake impression, but uh, it was a poor choice to try it now because my throat's been bothering me lately. Drinking a lot of tea with honey. Oh, right. Let's just go see how spectacularly dumb an idea this is. Hi! Oh. That didn't even hurt. Wow, it's pretty merciful for an enemy that big. I like the, the, the branch wings it's got. Not sure why they put the carrot on top of the head, though. Oh, he's actually got pupils in those big pink eyes of his. Huh. Neat. Oh. What if you tried melting the snowman using the laser? I do it myself, but, you know, the flippers. I wanted to see if I could collapse that, uh, snow on top of the cave entrance on him. Yeah. 
Rest in peace, Snowman. Oh, the timer. Hmm. All right, if I have to restart the level, I'll just uh, catch up with myself before we start recording again next time. I just want to make sure... Oh, right, you got that. No! Ah, uh, hell. Yeah, I didn't think so, but, you know. Worth a shot! Would've been nice. That's one. Okay. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you... Actually, you know what? I really should check. Yep, time flies and you're having fun. Full video. Okay. Yes, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. When we continue exploring uh, frozen altars. I did not think it would be quite that literal. And, uh... I don't know. Help these puffin guys to uh, get their revenge on money bags. Maybe. <laughs> Later.